It's Adam Savage, for heaven's sakes, man. Give it up for him. Thank you. Savage, man, you're one of my favorite people in the world because you're a doer, you're a maker. <laughs> Adam can build anything and sometimes does just for the fun of it. Not always for like, hey, we're gonna prove that something doesn't or doesn't work like they used to on Mythbusters, but the website's called Tested. Tested.com, it's an incubator where we're trying out different ways of talking about making, talking about creating in every form, whether it's sound or film, video or props, uh, costumes, uh, and it's, it's packed with wonderful stuff. So I end up getting obsessed with objects, with okay. certain objects, and specifically objects that have a narrative that resonates. And you're a storyteller, you know that sometimes a story just hits you in your gut and you can't let it go. Yes. And so for me, you know, I see Hellboy and I see this thing, which is the mecha glove that Rasputin uses to bring Hellboy from the other dimension. Yes. And I think, I've got to get one of these. I've got to make one of these. And Look at the gauge, even the gauge is in German and stuff. Well, and I know Guillermo del Toro a little bit. I knew him a little bit back then, and I said, I, I think I might make a mecha hand. And the next day, he sent me all of these production photos of it under construction. So that you could just build it yourself. So that I could build it myself. And then I went down to Spectral Motion. Michael Lizaldi uh, hooked me up with some of the plans and designs, and I had tremendous access, but it still took me four years to complete this. Where do you find the parts? Um, everything on this is hand-built by me. Um, so I did all the metal machining, all the leather work, all the sewing. That's fandom right there, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not enough that you saw it in a movie. You're like, that looks pretty cool. You're like, I want to build that. Well, and then I made lists of every, I have a list of all 600 parts that make this up. So will that go on the website in case someone wants to build it themselves? We actually made a poster of the entire thing and how it broke down so people could use that as a guide. This is our big reveal, our ta-da, if you will. What did you build here? So this is, uh, this was 10 years to make this. Okay. Um, this is, well, let's, let, let's do this. You ready for the big yeah. reveal? It's the ZF-1 from the fifth element. Oh my God, dude. Look and how badass that is! Yeah. So this thing, I got obsessed with this right after the movie came out. Right. I went online. Luke Besson's movie, Luke The Besson's Fifth Element. Fifth Element and how heavy is it, Max? It is Can I feel heavy. it? Yeah, is it really? Absolutely. This is going to show how like a little upper body strength I have. Well, that is heavy. <laughs> you get a workout with this bad boy. Instantly, I try to turn on its side, like. Oh, well, right, like, yeah. Like tough kids. On this Mythbusters, is beautiful. we proved that this is the one way not to hold a handgun. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. This gun, of course, appeared in The Fifth Element, and it was downstairs. We had it here at the IMDb yacht yesterday. So, uh, Luke Besson himself came to the boat. And I interviewed him and stuff, and they took him downstairs and they showed him this, and we got pictures of him oh. standing next to it. So I, a picture is uh, worth a thousand words. I'm not or more worthy of his eyeball. Uh, what do you got downstairs? Is a big chessboard. There's a big chessboard. Uh, the chessboard is JF Sebastian's chessboard from Blade. From Blade Runner. Runner. And my friend Rick Ross built that. Even better when you buy the set from him. And I don't know that he makes these all the time. But when you buy the set from him, he actually built the box, and it's sitting on top of the chessboard downstairs, the wooden box that it was shipped in. This is not canon. It's not part of the movie. No, no, but if you know the backstory of the movie, then you're like, oh my god, it even looks like the box they shipped it to the movie in. What was the other piece downstairs wasn't the chessboard? Well, you have uh, Captain Kirk's chair from the original series Star Trek. I built that one from scratch. And when you turn it on, every button does something. Really? Every single button does something. All the sounds, the computer sounds, the alarm sounds, phasers. So you can hit and yep. hear that Star Trek Computer, sound? you can self-destruct, and it's got two secret buttons that'll play both the fight music. <laughs> and then it'll also play the theme. The website is called tested.com. Tested Adam Savage. Give it up for the legend, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks.